So hello everyone. Haying season is over and as you recall from my first hay unrolling video I was having trouble getting the bale up off the ground enough to transport it across the pasture so when I would grab the bale with the spikes in the center of the bale and lift it up I didn't have any ground clearance to travel across the pasture. So I got lots of really good comments um, on that video and, and ways to rectify that. Um, my first attempt at rectifying that was to tighten the top link. And we went from, in, in that first video, I was getting about 33 and a half inches of ground clearance, which is where these spikes are now. And then in the second video, once I adjusted the top link, I got up to 40 and three quarters inches so it gave me a little over seven inches more clearance but when I would grab those bales in the center and I was picking them up um, with having been sitting on the ground for a while so they were a little bit squashed on the on the bottom and as you would travel across the pasture that bale would turn just a little bit because the heavier side was was on one of the two sides as a result of that squash spot and it would turn and I still didn't have enough clearance so I still had to grab that bale down low to be able to travel across the pasture and then when I got to where I was going to unroll it I had to sit the bale down cut the netting off um, then I had to reposition the spikes in the middle of the in the center of the bale and then would unroll it so it was just real time consuming I had to get off the tractor an extra time and it was just an aggravation so one of the subscribers um, Dennis commented that he put a hydraulic top link um, in his bale unroller and it allowed him to lift that bale as basically to any height he desired and would never have to get off the tractor to to uh, readjust the bale etc so I was in the middle of putting out hay and I didn't want to have my tractor down and gone for a couple of weeks. So once we got through with haying season, I went and had that top hydraulic top link put on and I'll show you that and how that works. So again, this was the height of my original ability to lift those bales, which was insufficient. I added another seven inches by tightening up the top link. That was still insufficient. So now we put on the hydraulic top link and that has made all the difference in the world. So let me show you how high I can raise that bale now. So that really made a difference. Now, the center of the bale is 54 inches off the ground, which that gave me um, from the 40 and three quarters, it gave me that much more clearance. So there's no bale anywhere that I can't get off the ground if I grab it in the center. And so I can travel to the pasture with the bale already centered, get off, uh, cut the net wrap off, and then set the bale down and start to unroll it. So let me show you the components of what we did. So one thing we had to do to be able to accommodate this extra cylinder was to install another set of remotes. And so you can see a brand new set of remotes and we ordered those parts from Kubota and they install right on top of the old remotes and so our hydraulic system runs both it this allowed me to put um, a handle to run the top link up 
with my handle here so this runs the the squeeze part of the hay unroller and this is going to run the up and down with regard to the top link and so that uh, made it super handy so we put on that set of remotes um, guy that runs the business right next to mine that makes the fertilizer beds he can absolutely do anything mechanical. Um, he's a Texas high roller, which is the name of the business. So if you've got anything that requires somebody good, he's your man. Ask for Ricky. Um, so he put on this set of remotes. He ordered this hydraulic cylinder and I'll put the link to this hydraulic cylinder in the description. It's got an eight inch um, stroke is what the literature says. I'm going to measure that here and see. So you can see I'm hooked up there and you can see the line, the dust line, and that is eight inches. So it's got an eight inch stroke and that allows me to get that bale really high off the ground. Um, so that solved all my problems. That's going to make my life 50% easier with regard to getting up and down off the tractor this next hay season and Dennis I'm very very appreciative of the um, suggestion and so little things like that make life easier the other thing that I had Ricky do was put on a set of jacks that allow me to let the hay roll unroller down pull the pins off the three point and not have to set this whole apparatus on blocks or what have you. This thing is heavy, heavy, heavy. And if it's down lower than your three point will lower, if you let it down on the ground, you'll strain yourself getting that thing picked back up. So he made these where you pull a pin. This is upside down currently, and he made them on a slant. I mean, he's very crafty so that when it's, when this is let down, the slant allows that to be flush on the flat on the ground. So we pull the pin, and I'm going to show you on the other side because I've already done that. And we put that in place, and then we can lower the three point, and it will um, stand alone and be in a position where we just back up to the back up to the hay unroller and adjust our three point so that we can capture it. So little things will make your life so much easier. And so um, just wanted to show that to you. And they just welded that to the original um, equipment. I don't know why they don't put something like that on these when you buy them, but they don't. Maybe this video will help them. Uh, the manufacturers of these kinds of equipment do that as standard stock. So that's it. Um, so I just want you to see that so that between now and next year when you're going to be unrolling hay, um, you could take advantage of the time that you can have uh, to have your tractor down um, from the time I took the tractor over to Ricky and we got parts ordered and we had delays with part orders and all the things that's coincident with the supply chain right now. Um, it took two weeks. So with that beautiful scenery here, beautiful pond, um, the grass is really growing and it's becoming a going to be a productive spring. We're hoping for rain this next Monday and if we can get a good rain, this grass will take off again. We're kind of stalled out right now just because of lack of moisture. So once again, I appreciate you all. I thank you so much for watching. If you don't mind hitting the like button and subscribe if you haven't, it helps the YouTube algorithm and helps me build subscribers. And again, I very much appreciate the camaraderie on this channel and the helpful comments. And I hope that some of what I do um, is helpful to some of you all that are starting on this journey as well. Thank you for riding along with me and we'll see you next time.